Hey, welcome back. We're building Leo's room today. I keep I try so hard not to call them bedroom sets because there's always a bed in them. So they are bedrooms, but they're they're more than that. So this set has got Leo and Ollie in it. This is the third out of four of these room sets that Lego's released so far. Third one for me to build. And I gotta say, so far, Lego is just absolutely blowing this out of the ballpark. <laughs> How's that for mixed metaphors? Blowing it out of the water. Hit it out of the ballpark. These, these designs, they're just fantastic. So there are 203 pieces in this set. There are two mini dolls and a pet, which is really, really cool. $33 here in Australia. And oh, look at these stickers. Oh, the little fat grumpy cat's got like, there's a whole logo, like a chef logo. Okay, I'm gonna love this so much. So here we go, we got Leo. And this is his little introduction page with some of his interests floating up out of his head. And this is where he lives. According to the in, to the descriptor, Leo's house is located near Harmony Beach. So we've never really been given names of different places in Heart Lake City before. Well, that's cool. I'm looking forward to seeing his full house at some stage. This is Ollie here. Okay, so Ollie doesn't have any more information in this because that's not his room. It's not your room. You're just a visitor. You can't touch anything. <laughs> it's more like our siblings talk to each other. So first up, let's have a look at Leo. We already have seen, well, I've already seen Leo in Autumn's house uh, but he is he's dressed entirely differently here which is so cool different outfit altogether so he's got turquoise three-quarter length baggy pants his top is he's got this is really adorable because <laughs> it's a chef's top but it's like got like ice creamy sprinkles look on it which is just incredibly cute the sleeves could have done with another layer of paint on them just to get the strength of the white up to the same level as what's on his shirt but oh my gosh, <laughs> how cute is this top? Loving his face print, love the thicker eyebrows, just those little, like the, just the whimsy of the tiny little bit that's on the inside of his eyebrows, like in the middle, just, yeah, adds definition so much. Got his hair with a cute little sticky uppy bit at the back, that's that bit that just won't behave, won't go down. But you know he's not the real reason I'm here, right? This is, oh, no, should we? Yes, we are. It's the Chonka Grumpy Cat. Junkie Grumpy Cat? I don't know, but oh my gosh, when I saw this, my heart just, <laughs> my heart, my heart belongs to Junkie Grumpy Cat. So according to the descriptor, the cat's called Churro. Like little, like you're just kidding. You know, I think um, I think Lego missed an opportunity to put a little crisscross butthole down there. They would, I think that it just the whimsy of the whole thing that wouldn't have been, maybe it would have been slightly inappropriate, but it would have been really, really cute. Why do we all have buttholes, right? Should we be talking about buttholes right now? But how good is Churro? Churro is adorable and so cross. Like, you don't, <laughs> don't mess with Churro. Churro will cut you if he could be bothered. Right, so we've also got Ollie, and Ollie is also in an outfit we haven't seen before. So he's got shoes which are missing, they appear to be missing some embellishment, but they're kind of like little slipper blue shoes. Got some grey pants with uh, cuff lines around the bottom. He's very, very stylish, is our Ollie. And his, oh, why does he have the thick hinge on his pants? I don't... I don't understand what Lego's doing with the moulds, but anyway, it's it's neither here nor there. His shirt is like it's a yellow lime 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 yellow. <laughs> oh, there is the tiniest of well, this really big paisley pattern. His shirt is a paisley pattern, like a lime green paisley, but I can't pick it up on the camera. It's like really faint and hard to see. But that paisley pattern is what's making the colour on his shirt. I'm obsessing about this now can barely see it. You can just barely see it. Uh, head, really cute. Face print, really gorgeous. I'm just loving, loving Ollie to pieces. And his hair, where's his hair? It's almost there. Here it is. So he's got bright yellow uppy hair, beautifully sculpted, lots and lots of product in there, just a little bit swept over to the side. And it's terribly smooth around the back, but there's just this little bit down here that kind of breaks into the smooth back, which gives it that little bit of extra character. I do like this hair piece a lot. It's, yeah, it's really, I mean, it's really, really adorable. Okay, so Ollie's got a brand new outfit as well, as well as Leo, and we, of course, got our chunky grandpa cat, Churro, my new bestie. Hashtag BFF forever. Right, okay, so let's move these guys out of the way because we actually have to build Leo's room because that is the point we're here. Or are we just going to call it Churro's room? I'm going to call it Churro's room. This is Churro's room. And Leo just incidentally lives there, which is how it actually works with cats, right? <laughs> Us owners, we just um we're there for their for their pleasure. Yep, to fulfill all of their needs. 
I don't believe in reincarnation, but when I do, I'm coming back as a cat in my house because there's no better life. No expectation, no chores. People just feed you and pat you and then leave you alone when you cross at them. Wow, best life ever. Okay, so we've been doing some building while well, we've been babbling. We've got a fish here on a fishing line with a wibbly wobbly bit at the back, but it does stay upright. And we're supposed to put Churro up here and Churro's just glaring at the fish. <laughs> Go get in my belly. Yeah, that's really cute. That's a little subsidiary build, but it does have a hole down the bottom. So we're going to be able to attach it, I think, to the actual room uh, rather than just having it floating off on the side. So so Leo's house is on Harmony Beach, so it is beach themed. It's very bright. It's very bright and fresh and funky. It's not dingy and stinky like most teenage boys rooms. Or will it be? I don't know. We're going to have like a random sock on the floor and a moldy banana just festering under the bed because that would be a little bit more realistic. But I don't think we're going to see that. But maybe I should build a realistic teenage boys room. That would be hideous. Okay, so sorry to the uh, teenage boys. We're watching if, the, if your room is not like that. But is it really? Do you really keep a nice clean room? I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we have got our bed happening here. Well, it's not our bed. This is Leo's bed. And a turquoise wall going together behind it, which actually is in instigating a lot of bricks. I, it's a really very solid, blocky wall, if you know what I mean. Like, there's no inward-facing studs to attach anything to it. So hopefully... I don't know. We'll find out what happens with that wall as we go along. Got some bunk bed action happening here, which sounds a little bit dodgy, but it's not because it's going to be a really good bunk bed. So we've got this... This one here is sitting above the other one. We've got a different bedspread, nice, with a sunset on it. Or maybe a sunrise, though I'm not ever so keen on sunrises. Sunrises happen way too early in the morning for my body clock. But it's a nice print, nice graphic art. Uh, got railings on this side, which are, I mean, obviously so that you don't fall out that side. You've got a whole other side of the bed that you can fall out. You could probably actually hook the mini doll's hand onto the railing. Maybe not. Maybe not. But down the bottom is, like, completely snug. They fit, like... Ollie's down there fitting perfectly in there. So this turquoise wall is making me a bit cross. I wish that it had a mural or something on it. I mean, I shouldn't speak before we finish because maybe we're going to be adding something there, but I don't know how we would. So it's a very blank looking outside here. It's also quite blank on the inside. I want to add like a seaside mural of some description on there. Okay, but I've completely been distracted by that turquoise wall and yeah, Leo's fallen out of his bed and everything's going on. Everything's going down here. Nice bright yellow door frame. We're going to have a sliding door, it looks like, from this configuration. So this is going to go in here. Big bright yellow sliding doors. I really love the colour scheme on this. Just broke it, just, but I just love it. This is going to be easy enough to put back together though. I'm, I'm good at this. I break stuff all the time. Lucky Lego is designed for that, so that's fine. But we will take people out of the beds because it's not safe for them to be in there while I'm busy building and breaking stuff. Along the top, we've got a coral, like vibrant coral, smooth top. Yeah, there's nothing happening with that turquoise wall. I want something on the turquoise wall. I really do. I want it. I want it a bit more interesting, but that can be my job. That'll be my job later. So we have a balcony here, which makes us feel as though this room should be situated on the second floor. Spot there for Churro to hang out, out on the balcony or not. You can't actually, Churro, you... <laughs> <laughs> Every little little dot there is actually being being filled with stuff. So we've got a scuba helmet, got a cup of tea, and we've got a flower out here and nowhere for churro to stick on the balcony. We've got a few spare pieces at the end there. We're up to bag number two. Now bag number two is the bag that Ollie actually came out of. I nicked him out early so we could have a look at him at the beginning. He doesn't come with any extra accessories, so we don't need to look at him again, but we are continuing on with the build. So the colour scheme, that big turquoise wall, got orange and yellow predominantly and vibrant coral as the as kind of the accent color yeah loving the colors just love the colors they are so fresh and not too bright I don't find them too bright so this is a side table for the bed got a hook couple of like different styles of hooks there for attaching stuff on so let's see how the clutter goes in this room because you know how I feel about clutter I love it I don't love it in my own house but I love it in a Lego build so we've got a lamp we've got a <gasps> photo of Ollie and Leo eating some they look like ice like shaved ice Maybe it's just an ice cream, but it looks like oh, another photo. This has got Ollie and Leanne, no, La Leo and Leanne and Awesome in it. And you can actually change out the pictures. Choose which one you want in the picture frame. 
That's a really sweet detail. All right, so these go on the bedside table. So the lamp right next to the bed, the picture frame next to it. Don't know where I'm gonna put the spare picture, but we'll put it out of the way for now. On the mat on the floor, these are little soccer balls, but they also kind of look, when you just glance at them, they also kind of look like beachy flowers. So nice, nice kind of, <laughs> everything's falling off. Sorry, Chira, we need to nail you down somewhere. We need to give you a jumper stud to be attached to. Okay, so Matt is very cute. We've got a life vest and a space to put the camera. And then his surfboard has got a really kawaii pattern on it, which is so super cute. Like, so cute. I'm loving the cuteness of this. I love that Leo is embracing the cute in his life too. So we have a watermelon watermelon print on his surfboard and he's got he loves cute stuff he loves baking and he loves soccer so he's a really nice juxtaposition I like how he's got lots of different interests uh, maybe we could put let's put Leo back up here we could put the other picture behind the other one that looks all right it's not going to stay when I tip stuff but that's okay we have got our pet bowl for churro which is supposed to go oh, it's grub on there we're just covering the grub up with the pet bowl We'll put Ollie outside because he's currently in the way. I'm trying to figure out how he can actually stand there. And then we've got a whole other section here, which is for Leo's other passion. And that's why Ollie's here. He's actually here getting some footage. Ah, look at this. This is a picture. Like, I'm sure this is the logo for his actual YouTube channel, maybe, or for his social media content. For his cooking channel. His cooking channel has got churro as the main feature with the little with the chef's hat, which is just adorable. So we've got an oven with churro on it. That, that's really cute. We've got a couple of flippers here. Where are they going? Oh yeah, so they go with the scuba gear. There are a lot of interests packed into this one little room. I'm loving it. Photography, surfing, cooking. Look at this. Look at this. This is, this is actually so good. This is a slice of cake. Chocolate cake. Chocolate, like, mmm, yum cake. That makes me really hungry. So that's up here on a plate. We've got some frosting happening in a bowl and a spot for the spoon down here. Very nice. Just love when there's a spot for everything. And a chef's hat, just like Churro's wearing. Churro can't wear it, sadly, because that would be hilarious. So just imagine, how can I make Churro wear that? I would need some serious adaptation and I can't do that to poor Churro yet. So this is supposed to go on Leo. He can wear this while he's busy getting his, <laughs> filming his cooking content, or he can store it on the front there like a giant mushroom button. Push this and the cakes appear. Actually, that would be really awesome. Wish I had a giant button I could push and cakes appear. So the cake that he's busy cooking, there's one here in the oven without frosting on it yet, waiting for the pink frosting to go on. That looks so yum. My gosh, I'm so hungry. Okay, why do I always film these hungry? <laughs> Bad plan, Ellie. Okay, couple of very, very cute, dotty, tropically cute, 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 cute cushions here. So spaces to sit, but you can pop them off and put them wherever you want. That's basically just where they're stored, I think. And then this is really nicely detailed with stickers recipe book. So inside we've got what is obviously a recipe, got, you know, pouring of the liquids and the stirring of the stuff. And then for the outside, for the cover, is making cupcakes, lemon cupcakes, my favorite. That's really detailed. I love that. So this is supposed to, I reckon you're supposed to put it, no, there! You're supposed to, it actually clicks in between the cushion and the little bracket piece. Just gives it enough hold that it's not going to fall out unless you shake it a bit. Or shake it a lot. No, shake it a bit. <laughs> so this is, this is Ollie's job now. This is what Ollie's passion is, is actually creating this content. So he's got his selfie, selfie stick happening, big stand selfie stick, and the ring light. So this could go, if, it, um, if Leo was busy recording by himself, we could face it this way but I really should, let's just leave it like that at the moment. That's the way it is in the instructions. We need to plug this in over here. Now Churro can be yeah, safely stuck down. We're not done yet. This is still, where, where are we putting whatever this is? Oh, this is a subsidiary build. So mentioned before that Leo is a soccer fan, soccer fanatic. So he gets a soccer goal. This is a really fabulous little build. So we've got the curvy sides, we've got the ang that angly bit, the ang angly brackety bit, which is going to be able to just angle forwards like that on the hinge so that it makes the net. 
Isn't that simple but so like smart? And soccer ball in here. Soccer ball's gonna roll off my table, I'm gonna lose it. And very important to stay hydrated. I just love this water bottle design. How did, have we ever seen this water bottle design before? It's so simple, but it looks just like squeezy water bottles. It's so perfect. So we got one for each of the boys here, none for Chiro. That's fine. I don't think Chiro was coming out to play soccer anyway. Chiro is just there obsessing about that fish, wondering why it won't just jump off the fishing line into his mouth. Now this doesn't actually attach here at all. Let's turn this around. So yeah, okay, so Ollie can be in charge of filming. That's really, that's a really great little setup. But we've also got hints here that Leo also likes taking pictures because these are, I assume, pictures that he's taken with his camera of the friends, the new friends. This is so much, there's so much detail in, there's so much detail in these bedroom sets. It makes me so excited for what the future is going to be holding for our new friends. Okay, so let's set him up on his... <laughs> <laughs> his surfboard with his scuba helmet because that's exactly how you surf and we'll get Ollie to film that dang I didn't get the bottom bit off so that's not going to stand up on its own so he's just gonna have to hold it like a really demented selfie stick or not because he can't hold that he can't hold that up and stand up so maybe we'll just go and put that back it was a nice idea let's put the surfboard back and the scuba helmet back put everything back where it was before we mess about with it too much we can actually put the spare picture on the surfboard studs or maybe we could get both of them onto that little this little piece here maybe we get both pictures on if we angle them weirdly now that seems strange maybe we could put them like that and then just offset it a bit but then it's gonna hang over the door but that's okay i'd be okay with that but you know what this really we just need an inward facing start on that wall and then we could attach that picture to the wall to that big blank turquoise wall so yeah i need to modify that wall a bit it's bugging me that it's empty it's an empty space it hasn't been utilized enough all right i wanted to have a look because you guys mentioned that this would go really well with a vacation house with the beach house and you're absolutely right the color scheme yeah, hello. It just looks like it's made for it. So maybe if we were to just, no, we're not going to be able to just take it and shove it on here. It's actually a bigger base plate. Kind of could if you're happy for it to hang off the front. Though Churro and his fish will look really weird just dangling off the side there. So yeah, a little bit of changing up here, but definitely color scheme wise and theme wise, this would fit in very very well with a vacation beach house might even be able to adapt the whole beach house and turn it into leo's house if we don't see his house very soon which with lego <laughs> releasing you know in the past one friend's house per two years yeah i don't know if we're i don't know how long it's going to take us to actually see all of our new friends houses so we might have to just build them who knows but this is a brilliant bedroom i just cannot get over how fabulous these are i feel as though i'm going to be buying multiple of these and messing about with them and definitely gifting them <laughs> to so many people. Here, have a bedroom set. Here, have one too. All my friends are going to get them. So soz, not soz. Nah, you, you'll love it. Just build it. You'll love it. All right, let me know what you think of this set in the comments and I will be back. You know I'll be back. It's like a threat, but a good threat, a lovely threat. I'll be back with more stuff soon. So check back in. I'll be here. <laughs> See you then. Bye.